Hi guys, and today it's time to pick the team to play Lincoln City in the first leg of our playoff semi-final tomorrow night. So let's get started in goalie, but the reason why he ended up with the third most, like, got the third most clean sheet in the league with eating. As much as I don't really, I'm not his biggest fan. He had a decent season and hopefully he can have a good, good couple of games in the playoffs, so yeah. Right back, local 9. The reason why... The reason why I'll play 9 right back is because I think he's better going forward than Conor McLaughlin and I think he will cause more, like, problems than Conor McLaughlin, if you get what I mean. If he did play a centre-back, got to play a right back, fair enough, so yeah. Then, first centre-back, Conor McLaughlin. The reason why, because I know about flagging and, um, this is obviously if McLaughlin's fit because there's been rumours going around that he's injured again, but... If he's fit, I would go with McLaughlin over Flanagan. The reason why I obviously Flanagan just came back and I prefer McLaughlin anyway we're as well. Another reason why I'm playing McLaughlin there is because I think McLaughlin's a better defender than local nine, so yeah. Left thing about Bailey Wright. The reason why we haven't really saw Bailey Wright's best form yet yet like since he came back. But hopefully now like that he now knows that we're in the playoffs he can sort it. Shows what he's got and shows how good of a defender he is. Because personally, behind Dion Sanders, I do think he's our second best centre half. So, yeah. Left back, Denver Hume, the reason why. Denver Hume's our best left back at the club, hands down. He's better than my Fazden, and he's better than Vogan Dollar. We haven't seen much of Vogan. Um, Hume, like, again, hasn't really been his best. Like, obviously, I think he was back to. I thought he was one of our better players against Northampton, but he still hasn't really raised his best. But again, hopefully he now scores it in the playoffs, so yeah. Then first, um, sent him a Grant Ledbetter. The reason why I would go for Ledbetter is because, like, he's the type of player we need in these sort of games where he can, like, um, calm the player down, like, at times where I might be a bit slow, like, he can maybe take the ribbon out of Lincoln's, like, see if Lincoln's dominating and what they will probably have a point in the game where there are. He can, like, slow it down if you get one thing and take the sting out of it. And if we're winging, he's someone who you want on for game management as well. So, yeah. Then, second, second I mean, Max Power, the reason why is because he's the captain and he's not going to drop the captain. But, to be fair, in a game like this against um, Lincoln, two robust, robust midfielders, if you like, um, Ledbert and Power might work a treat if, if you're trying to stop their main man, George Grant. So, yeah. Right, right, right wing Jordan Jones, the race wise, because Jordan Jones, um, obviously was a threat last week against Northampton, got, pretty much got the assist for the Winchester goal where he hit off the bar and now he caused a problem, so with his pace, you could really scare their left back and I hope he does, because Jones is a quality player, the last few weeks, but I haven't really seen it, but he's got a chance to leave Sunderland before he goes back to Reims as a hero, like getting us promoted and you never know he might steer, so yeah. Cam Linden Goats, the race player, I think he's been our best player the last four months, four weeks really, since the whole game where he's got three assists and one two penalties in the, them games, and I do believe he's getting off to a late play in the first leg, so yeah. Left wing is McGady, the race player, because McGady hasn't really been at it, I would say, the last few weeks, but but I would say McGady is probably the first name on the team to me behind Charlie White, the race player, McGady. On individual quality, he's our best player, hands down. Four goals, four eight assists, half in the half of the season, being brilliant. And he will be a big, and if we win the playoffs, he will be vital in it. So, yeah. Then striker Charlie White, 31 goals this season. What a season, what a turnaround he's had. And he, I mean, I've just said about McGabe being the first name on the team, so to be fair, he probably pips him. So, yeah. But what a season he's had. And hopefully... He can score maybe a goal or two in the playoffs. That gets us up. So, yeah. Then on the bench, I would have Remy Matthews, Jake Vaughans, Josh Gordon, Carl Winchester, Ross Stewart, Chris Maguire, and Jack Diamond. So, yeah. So, I'm going to see if we're going to draw 1 1 in the first leg. I'm going to see if Charlie Bike can bring a 1 1 draw back to the stadium of my life. So, yeah. So, leave your thoughts in the comments. You can leave your team, whatever. So, yeah. So, like, subscribe, view, comment, and see. Yeah.